In problem number 48 of section 2.8, we're going to prove the fact that you learn in geometry that the uh, line, the radial line from the origin to uh, to the point of tangent, or from the origin to a circle um, is perpendicular to the line uh, tangent to the circle at that point. Uh, so first off, let's just set up uh, an or a coordinate system. So we can safely assume that our uh, circle is just at the origin and has radius r. So now let's assume that our point P tangency is in the first quadrant. Again, we could safely assume this because we could always, if it's in a different quadrant, we can always rotate the circle so that it is in the first quadrant. This will make our calculations a lot easier. So we have a radius R and our point P, which is XY and Align uh, tangent to the circle at point P. We want to show that uh, this line L, let's call it L, uh, is in fact perpendicular to the radial line. Now, to do this, we're just going to compute the slopes of both lines and show that they are in fact um, perpendicular to each other. Or the, the slope of one is the negative reciprocal of the other. So let's first start out by finding the slope of the radial line. We know that. This is the point x, this is the point y. Now, slope, uh, the radial line, I'll write it m, so radial, is going to be equal to change in x over the change in y. Well, the, the change in x is just x, and the change in y is just y. All right, so we know that this is the slope of the radial line. Let's find out what the slope of the tangent line is. So we'll call this um, m sub tan. Uh, now, in order to find this, we need to, uh, well, we just need to find the equation of the line tangent to the circle. And we can do this by implicitly differenti differentiating uh, the standard equation for the circle which is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. r is, of course, the radius. Now we differentiate both sides of this with respect to x. And we have 2x plus 2y. And remember, uh, when we implicitly differentiate, we assume that y is a function of x. So we need to uh, use the chain rule and multiply by y prime. and uh, the derivative of any constant is just zero. Now we solve for y prime, which uh, will be, which we will then evaluate at our point p in order to find the slope of the tangent line at that point. So we solve for y prime. Y prime will be minus two x over two y. And our twos cancel out. And we're left with minus x, y, x over y. So the slope of the tangent line is minus x over y. And I realized I just make, made a mistake up here. The slope, of course, is the change in y over the change in x. So the change in y uh, is y. And the change in x is just x. So the slope of the radial line is y over x, which um, completes the proof of this problem because we now see that the slope of the radial line is the negative reciprocal of the slope of the tangent line. So the two tangent line or the, those two lines are in fact perpendicular.